Hello, this is Jared from Commit to Quality, and in this video, we're going to go over how we can store and reuse the session in Cypress. This was actually requested by a viewer, and I think it's a really good way to show how we can log in once before a bunch of our tests, store the state, and then reuse that in other tests. It's a way to make your testing much more efficient instead of having to log in before each individual test. Now, I do want to say there's multiple ways you can perform these kind of actions, and one way is via using API calls, which can be considered best practice, which would make your test execution even faster. However, for this video, we're going to use the UI to log in, but the concept could be shared um, across anything, really. So let's jump into the actual code I have, and I'll put a link to this in the description of the video as well. But all I'm doing is I'm going to the Demo Blaze website. I have this set up in my Cypress config file, so I have the base URL set here to Demo Blaze. I'll also put a link to this in the description. However, if you don't want to set it in your config file, you, you can just hard code it here, totally up to you. And all we're doing is we click on the login button. We're going to be entering username and password, so here we're going to actually say test. And here we'll say test, because that's the username and password. We're going to click login, assert that the logout button is visible, and then we've got our assertion for whatever we want to test. So in this case, it's just checking that um, the welcome message is appearing. Now, before we do anything, let's go to Cypress. And we'll make sure that this is actually working. Okay, so in example spec, which is the file within, we go in there, it's clicking login check in logout is there and also the welcome message is there perfect so great we've logged in but that's part of the problem is imagine now we have two tests so we mean multiple but we're just gonna add two uh, and let's just change that to cypress login two if i save this now immediately what you can already see is all this duplication imagine these were different um assertions so two different tests but in this case i'll keep them the same for simplicity however we've got basically these lines of code which uh, being repeated. That's the first problem. Now, immediately, you might be thinking, yeah, well, we can solve that. We could just use the before each. So let's do that. Let's say before each. And I can cut all this code and paste it in here. So we're only left with, with exactly what we want the test to do. Let me save that and we'll rerun this. And let's just show that we solved the maintenance problem, but we haven't solved the issue where we log in twice before both of these tests. You can see it's doing all the logging on this one, and then on this one it's also logging in. But that's not what we're actually testing. We, in our tests, we have to be logged in to check this message, or you might be logged in to have to do something else. So that means, why are we logging in for each individual one when we need to do it once? And that's the problem we're going to solve now. So before we kind of solve it in here, I want to do this in kind of the best practice way. So I'm going to go to the support folder and open the commands.js file. Now, what this will allow us to do is add our own custom Cypress commands. We basically extend in Cypress with what we want. So what I want to do is say cypress.commands.add. And we're going to add our new command, which we're going to call login. And tell you what, as part of login, we'll pass the username and password, even though we can hard code in this case. Let's imagine you're looking at a system where you want to be logging as different users different times. So let's parameterize that. But we could also hard code if we want. And inside here, all I'm going to do is take the code we already had in the before each and paste it into the Cypress commands. If I then say sci.login, pass through the username and password, so in this case it's test test, and you may have already spotted, I haven't, up to, I am not actually using these because I still am hard coded, so let's just set username here and password here, so now we're passing through wherever we want. Let's go back to Cypress, and we still haven't solved our problem, we've moved the code to make it a bit cleaner into this Cypress command, but we're still logging in on both tests, and this is what this video is all about, right? How do we do this? Cypress make this really easy. They have a session method, which if I hover over it, it tells us here, it save or restores browser cookies, local storage and session storage data resulting from the supplied setup function. So basically, 
it's telling us what we have to do here. We have to pass through some kind of ID to specify what session we want to use. In this case, we can use the username and password to say this is the session I always want. So if you were working with different test files that need different users, which I'll touch on a little bit later in this video, you can save session for those specific IDs. So it doesn't have to be reused across everything. But let's keep this simple. Let's uh, open this up and we'll say username and password. You could just define a string here if you wanted, but I'm gonna say my session ID is gonna be the username and password of this. Let's then create our callback here. And all we have to do is copy this code we have here, paste it inside here, so now we say reuse it. And in our file, we, we're doing the login already, and all I wanna do is say sci.visit in each test, just so we know that we are going to the same place and it's using the same session storage. Otherwise, you're gonna hit a failure. I'll actually show you that. Let's get rid of that, let's save it. Go to Cypress. And you've got here an error because it's it's trying to go to somewhere, but it actually hasn't gone anywhere yet. It's trying to assert something. So we need that side visit in both of these. So let's say side visit, save that. And what you'll see now is because I've already run these tests, both of them have already restored. But let me clear all the session and rerun it. Here, the first test logs in using the login functions. But in the Cypress login two you can see it's been restored and you probably noticed this was a lot quicker to pass as well. And that's because we're using that session of test test, which is the username and password, but also doubling up as your ID. So that's how you can share state across tests in the same file. But what happens now then, if I say copy example, and we'll name it example two .js. I'm gonna save this and let's go back to Cypress. Let's rerun this. So straight away, this one is restored using the session because we've already been using it here. And the second one was restored as well. You can see there, that's in example side.js. But let's go back and go to example two side.js. And what you're gonna see is it's re-logging in again. So it's not, it's not persisting and saving that session across all the spec files. It's only doing it for the individual spec. Now, if I rerun this, you'll see it's restored, but that's only for this individual spec because we just run it. Now, Cypress has already out of the box give us a property that can handle all of this. Inside the session method, you will be able to see we can also provide an object of session options. That's exactly what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna say new object and we're gonna say cache oh. with outside of the session call. So here inside the session call, inside the bracket, we wanna say create a new object, which is gonna have cache across specs and let's set that to true. Now, just to keep everything nice and simple, oh, we don't want that there. To keep everything nice and simple, I'm gonna actually close this. I'm gonna reopen Cypress so it's completely fresh. And what you're gonna notice, the difference between what we just had, where only one spec was using the sessions, now it should persist across both of them. So let's use example first, doesn't matter which one we picked. This one, it'll log in once. We're gonna store the session then, great. So there's the session that's been created. Cypress login two. It's been restored, so perfect. Now let's go to example two, and what we should see is it's using that session from the original test that was run. So there we are, it's picked up session with the ID of test and test, and both of these now are using that state. So perfect, that's exactly what we want. So now you can say, okay, run it once before everything, and then everything else, as long as I'm using the correct state of test test, all is good, perfect. Now we did mention about changing these as well. So let's create another example file and let's just copy to where we are. We'll just duplicate it again. And we'll say example three, say .js. Now what happens if I say test two here? Now, because the way that I've set up this, we're passing through a username and password here, which is obviously not gonna log in, or I don't think it'll log in because I don't think test two is allowed. Maybe it is, let's, let's double check, because I'll make things a lot easier. Oh, it was in Cypress. So let's say login, and let's say test two test. 
no okay we can't log in with that one so we're gonna have to hard code things a little bit and kind of wing it so we'll still keep using the password but we're not actually going to use these when actually authenticate i'm gonna go back to hard coding these to test and to test but what i'm gonna say now then is i'll just change these set these data on the example three so we'll say test three and test three here now what we should see let's close down cypress what we should see is running this example spec it's going to save the state or save the session with the ids of test test which originally was the username and password of course we could change that just to be one thing but keeping it simple is test test example two should also use this because we're saying okay either create a session or use one which has these values but for example three because i've specified we want to create a new session with these ids instead we should see that this test file it's going to create a new login again for us and save that session to these ids so you could imagine now that if you've got two different users you want to use the state or the session of this one in example in example two but in example three you might want to use a different one and then you can imagine you could have more files which are using test three user instead of the original of test user so we've closed cypress and let's just check that works go to end-to-end -end testing start end-to-end -end. right so we should be completely fresh so first thing let's go to example of course it's going to log in once here using session of test test remember i've hard coded the values of the login so it's always going to log in as the test user you can see that one has been restored excellent if i go to example two that should still be already logged in and restore the state, which you can see here, it's restored it because we're using this session of ID test test. However, example three shouldn't restore because we've said, well, we're using different session details. So let's go into this and you can see it's logging in itself now and it's storing this session in test three instead. So that's a way of how you can handle kind of multiple users storing multiple sessions. If for whatever reason you don't want to do this, then of course, if you only want in your individual test files, just remove this property and you're all good to go. I should say there's a lot you can do with session. So I do suggest looking at the documentation as well. I'll put a link into the description. Really useful to kind of use this video, but also go look at that documentation to see what else you can do. As always, if you do have any comments or questions, please drop a comment below. A like and subscribe is always appreciated. Thank you for watching and have a good day.